Hello everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's bi-weekly contest, destroy sequential targets. The problem states that you are given a array nums which denotes the targets that you have to destroy and a integer space. Now you have a machine that you will that can be used to destroy the targets but you have to seed the machine with some initial number nums of i so basically this nums denotes the target and you have to choose an integer from this nums array itself to seed into the machine and now what it's saying is if you let's say seed nums of i you will be able to destroy all the targets that satisfies this expression nums of i plus c into space so notice c was given nums of i we have chosen and c can be uh, any non-negative integer now you have to destroy maximum number of target that is your goal now you have to choose nums of i in such a way such that maximum number of targets can be destroyed and if there are multiple possible nums of i you have to return the minimum value of them okay so let's take an example let's say this is the target array and this is the space value is 2 now as per problem we will be able to destroy all the targets which satisfies this expression okay now let's uh, let's say we take ai equals to 1 now if ai basically ai should could, should be one of uh, these values right so let's take ai equals to 1 now if we take ai equals to 1 this expression would become 1 plus 2c right because space uh, the value of space is 2 so now let's see how many of these elements are can be represented as 1 plus 2c so can 1 be represented as 1 plus 2c answer is yes uh, if you subtract 1 from here uh, the value would be 0 and 0 can be represented as 2 into c similarly can 3 be represented as 1 plus 2c answer is yes uh, if you put c equals to 1, this expression would be 3. So this can be represented as 1 plus 2c. Now can 5 be represented as 1 plus 2c? Answer is yes. Now how to find this efficiently? Like can 5 be represented as 1 plus 2c? Let's say you have to find this. So what you can do, you have to see that whether this is possible or not, right? So what you can simply do, you can just uh, shift 1 to the left hand side. So if you shift 1 to the left, left hand side, it will become 5 minus 1, which is 4. Now you have to see whether 4 equals to 2c or not. Or in other words, can 4 be, is 4 divisible by 2 or not? If it is, the answer is yes. Okay. So you don't need to try all possible value of c. You can simply uh, shift it, shift 1 here and see if the, uh, re like the remaining value is divisible by 2 or not. So again, this is divisible by, uh, this is, or this can be represented as 1 plus 2c. Now if you try 2, it can't be represented as 1 plus 2c. Now, why? If let's say you put two here. Now, if you bring up one to the left hand side, two minus one is one. So, can one be represented as two c? Or in other words, can one is one divisible by two? Answer is no. So that's why you can't represent two as one plus two c. Similarly, you can't represent four as one plus two c, and neither you can represent six. So, in if you put ai equals to one, then you are able to destroy three targets okay similarly now you have to put all possible values let's say you put 3 here ai equals to 3 then you find out how many targets you are able to destroy similarly you put 5 here and find out how many targets you are able to destroy now once you have number of targets that you can destroy for all of these value of ai the one with the maximum value is the answer and if there are more than one value the minimum would be answer so for example there are three targets that can be destroyed if you put AI, uh, i equals to 0 here similarly if you try 3 like if ai is 3 then also you will see there are three targets that can be destroyed so in this case there are two elements which which can destroy exactly three targets so out of these two you will be returning one because one is minimum okay so hope you got the question and the way we discussed the uh, solution is the brute force way right and now what is the time complexity of the way we solved it it just uh, you are for each you are trying every possible value of ai so there are total n possible values of ai in worst case and for each possible value you are iterating over the entire array 
to find out how many targets you can destroy. So overall complexity is order n square, which will not pass because n is up to 10 to the power 5. Okay, so you have to do better. Now what you can do? So remember how we are able to find the targets efficiently or basically how we are able to say whether a number can be represented as this or not. Let, so let's see again. Let's say we have to find out whether AJ can be represented as this or not. So what we have said is we will bring this to the left hand side. So this will become uh, AJ minus AI, okay, which is equals to C into space. Or, or in other words, if we put space again here, what we are, what we are saying is C should be an integer, right? So if C is an integer, it means that AJ minus AI should be divisible by space. Okay. Now, in other words, like you have, let's separate these two out. In other words, what we are saying is AJ modulus uh, space and AI modulus space they should be equal, right? So basically if difference of two numbers are divisible by uh, integer x, then the remainder of individual numbers should be equal. Because let's say, uh, let's take an example, let's say aj is 5 and ai is uh, 3 and, you have to, and space is 2. So if we have to say that these difference of these two is divisible by space, we have to make sure that individually the remainder of these two are equal. Okay, so in this case, 5 modulus 2 is 1, 3 modulus 2 is 1, and because they are equal, we can say aj minus ai is also divisible by space. So why we have done this? Because if we keep them in a single expression, we will not be able to solve it in better than order n square time. We have solved exactly this kind of problem before in this channel. Uh, I will link some of them in the description below. Uh, make sure to check them out. In other words, uh, we have like the motive here is if we keep j and i together, we would not be able to solve it in better than order n square because you have to iterate over j and i. There is no other way, right? That's where what we are trying to do. We are trying to separate aj and ai and then once they are separated, then we will say that okay we can do some optimization and solve it in better than order n square because now they are separated so that's where we have instead of saying aj minus ai divisible by space we have we have said that okay aj modulus s and ai modulus s these both should be equal okay now once we have this condition the problem is now reduced to uh, how many integers have remainder ai modulus space okay so for each of these ai you can simply find out how many integers are there which have this same modulus. Now notice that space is constant. So what you can do, you can simply convert this array to AI modulus space. So in other words, you will convert this, this array would look something like this. Uh, because we have to uh, equate AI modulus S every time, we can convert this array to something like this where every element is the modulus s. So 1 modulus 2 is 1, 3 modulus 2 is 1, 5 modulus 2 is 1, 2 modulus 2 is 0, 4 modulus 2 is 0, 6 modulus 2 is 0. So notice that what we have to find out was, uh, let's say you put, you take this as ai. Okay. Now if you take this as ai, you have, to, you have to first find out what is the remainder of this with s. The answer is 1, like the remainder of this with s is 1. Now you have to find out how many of these integers are there which have remainder 1. So you can just see there are three integers which have remainder 1. Okay. So similarly, if you, uh, so basically now you are able to find out this answer efficiently without iterating over the entire array for each of these elements. Okay. So let's uh, just do one more example. Uh, let's say you put AI as 3. Now if you put AI as 3, you have to satisfy this condition, right? So what is AI modulus, seven, AI modulus S? AI modulus S is 1. So what you have to find out, how many of this have modulus 1? So you can just simply uh, see, see here, the, the answer is 3. There are 3 elements which have modulus 1. Okay. So what you can do, you can simply maintain a, a count or frequency of each of these uh, remainders. And you, like, uh, while answering this query, like how many of this have remainder x, 
you can simply look at your map that okay for this remainder uh, I have this many integers so for uh, how you will prepare this map in this case you will be the map will have two values 0 with a frequency of 3 and similarly 1 with a frequency of 3 now for each of these integers you can simply go through them and for each of them you can simply find out how many like what is the number of uh, targets that you can destroy okay so hope this makes sense uh, I can show you the code but I would uh, like you encourage you like this is very uh, like easier problem now so I would encourage you to code it yourself uh, I will paste the actual code in the commentation below so that you can refer it in case you are not able to but as discussed this is very uh, easy problem now for e uh, just to reiterate we have started with the brute force solution where we say that okay for each integer we have to iterate over the entire array to find out how many targets we can destroy so that's for order n square but now what we have said is instead of doing that uh, because every time ai and aj are together we can't do better than order n square so to do better than order n square we have to separate them out so we have uh, just rearranged the equation and find out this condition that okay if, uh, if uh, we choose ai then all the ages which have modulus s same as ai modulus s all those ages can be or all those ages can be destroyed with this ai so what now what we have done is we have just find out the modulus of every integers in the given array and maintain a prepare a map of frequencies of each of the remainder now for each of this integer we can try out we can put this integer as ai and see how many targets we can destroy simply by uh, looking at this map okay so hope the solution makes sense if you have any doubts in the problem please post them in the conversation below i would be able to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one thank you